Now in the second video, we're going to look at blending lessons with technology in the classroom. This is very innovative, and what we mean by that simply, as you recall, we said that we have all the grades listed above. Let's, for example, take uh, fifth grade. Here's fifth grade. Lessons using fractions. I'm going to click on that, and you'll notice we have all the lessons that we feel is imperative that you understand how to use. And here's some decimals over here. We'll jump to those later. But this all came from teachers telling us what needed to be taught in the classroom. For example, adding mixed numbers. Okay, I'm going to click on that. And here's adding mixed numbers. Here's a lesson. And when you click on it, we provide for you a video and several examples. So the student can play the video. We'll explain how to do it. Pause the video. And then they can do the rest of the lesson. And then play the video or continue playing it and it will provide them with the answers. So it's all self-contained. Now, there's other things on here for fifth grade, obviously. Uh, math and maps, uh, we'll show you that in a second. Telling time, everything is, this is a differentiated lesson for fifth grade. It's not just uh, the little hand is on the three, the big hand's on the 12. You need to know that with things changing as rapidly as they are, if you're in another country, what time is it in one country and compared to ours. For example, Casablanca and what time is it in New York if it's six o'clock in Casablanca. So this is all located here and we did that to allow us to work with students at different areas. Now language arts. We're going to cover that very briefly. Click on language arts. You'll notice that we provided the grade level and the lessons for you. Please look at these and they'll help you out. And we have word processing lessons to show you how to do a lot of different things. And it continues on. So this is really good because it's going to show you how to find or where you can find a lot of different things and where they're located. Social studies. Okay, click here. And we've provided for you lessons for social studies. For example, let's click on continents and oceans. Okay, here we go. We have um, a continent. In oceans, what is here down here, uh, for example, the letter L, right? North America, you put the letter L here, and we got a QR code that explains it to us. So, or tells us if we did it the right way. All right, let's click back. Citizenship, Congress for the Students, Bill of Rights. So, we explain with a lot of different things here, uh, a lot of different videos for the national anthem. Memorial Day tribute, uh, Taking Chance, that's, this is a good movie, a tribute to a fallen Marine, um, Silent Service, World War II submarine uh, stories, and there's about 70 of them, and you scroll down, we've got all kinds of neat things, uh, reading maps, look at this one, the Earth, I'm going to click on Earth, and you'll notice here in a second, we have Earth, this is a live view, I'm going to change it from 330 to 550, and by doing so, you'll notice this is the Earth right now at this time. And by clicking over here, you'll notice we have nighttime. And right over here on the coast, it's almost nighttime for New York. And here's South America. So this is all relative to time, and it's good for the kids to see because everything is on, online and real. Now they can create their own maps on here and do a lot of different things with map. Walt Disney History Story. This is good. The Birth of the Swamp Fox. There's a lot of neat stories here. Davy Crockett stories, right? Um, so that was Social Studies. Science, click on here. And you notice we have a lot of different science things for you to look at as well. And click back, Educational Comprehensive Sites. Clicking on here, uh, Writing Code, Quizzes, uh, The World Clock, Our World Today. By clicking on here, you'll see that we go to a website, and it tells you the current population in the U.S. is 328 million, 328 450 million. Canada is 36 million, 36 million 920 So you can show that to your class. Uh, safety is good. It's on here, right? And there's a lot of neat things for for you to to look at, but you need to go here and to look at them. Math, Logic, and Problem Links, click on here. Sudoku. This is a great site. It teaches kids how to think. You'll notice that we have a kindergarten. What's nice about this with Sudoku is I'm going to click on this one, and it shows a kid. Here's a video. 
Now they have to work with four numbers, one, two, three, four. So you can use it in a, the number only one time in a row, in a column, and in a cube. And the video tells you this. So if we have the numbers one, two, and three, what number is missing? Well, you can see it's the number four. So it teaches the kids how to do that. And since this is differentiated, you'll notice we have grades and becomes a little bit more sophisticated as we go on. Now, cross number puzzles. This is a big one. You'll notice that this will allow students to learn by using cross numbers. They can learn addition, subtraction. For example, on this one, what is 5 plus 5? Well, across it's 10, 1, 0. And 6 plus 6 is 12, 1, 2. So they, they'll have fun working on that and doing that as well. Now, it's more than what we just showed you. But again, like I said, I want to keep this video quick and easy. And there's many more things on here for you to look at. And we'll cover them with a later video.